Hey everyone, today we're gonna to make a no recipe smoothie. So here's a really fun, healthy, and delicious way to fight food waste. Why does that matter? Well, here in America, we waste 40% of the food that's produced. And there's waste at all different levels from farmers, to the supply chain. But the thing is, as a consumer, there's a lot of things that you can actually do to really affect change and help prevent food waste. And this recipe, this smoothie recipe, is just one of those. So we've all had produce in the fridge that's either kind of wilted or gotten a little bruised, and maybe it's not the perfect produce that you wanna put in a salad or a saute. It just isn't quite presentable, <laughs> but still perfectly safe to eat. And this is what this smoothie is about. It's about taking that produce that might be a little beat up, a little wilted, but still finding a way to use it and to get the most out of it so you're not contributing to food waste. And I'm gonna give you a really easy guideline on how to do that. Okay, so here's my simple recipe for a no recipe smoothie. Yeah, I, I, that's what I said. My recipe for a no recipe smoothie. So you need one cup of veggies, one cup of fruit, a half cup of proteins and fats or fiber, those types of ingredients, and then one tablespoon of flavor. That could be any sort of spice that you like. One cup of liquid, so some great veggie options for this is, you know, a great way to use up spinach or kale or broccoli or cauliflower or chard. Any of those things that happen to start to wilt a little bit earlier than you get to them, put them in the smoothie. When it comes to the fruit, obviously bananas are a great smoothie option, but also apples, stone fruit, lots of citrus, lots of options there too. So one little trick for making your smoothies a little bit on the thicker side without having to add ice is to take those fruits and veggies that you wanna use in your smoothie, put them in the freezer the night before. So take some strawberries that are a little beaten up or some kale that's a little bit wilted, pop it in the freezer. It'll actually make that smoothie nice and thick when you blend it together. So why is this important? Well, here's the thing. One in four bags of groceries go straight to the trash. So every four bags of groceries that you buy, on average, one of them is going straight into the garbage. And that's what we wanna prevent. That's a lot of waste. That means all the energy, water, work to develop, ship, produce that food is just wasted. And we don't want that. So this is where that smoothie will help. For the liquid part, you can obviously use fruit juices, you can use nut-based milks, coconut milk, those are all great. I mean, you could use water if you had nothing else to use, but I would recommend finding another way. And when it comes to the fats and proteins and fiber part, some great options are peanut butter or avocado or flaxseed or chia seed or you know even nuts are a great option for blending into your smoothie and just packing that with protein and great wonderful nutrients. One of my favorite things to add to a smoothie is softened tofu. But when you get to the spices part, that's where the real fun begins. So just think about how you're making this smoothie, whatever combination you're pulling together. For example, if you're putting in peanut butter for the fat section, you might wanna add a little bit of cocoa powder to give it a little bit of a chocolate flavor. Or if you have stone fruits, ginger is a really great option for that. So you might be thinking, well, if I'm not eating my strawberries in time, how am I gonna eat this smoothie in time? Well, that's the thing, you don't have to. Once you blend it all up, you can actually freeze the smoothie in an ice cube tray, take those smoothie cubes, put them in the freezer, and then it's just there for when you want it. If you're like me, when I'm really lazy, I'll just let them thaw out overnight in the fridge in a glass so I have a great smoothie in the morning, but you also can just blend the smoothie cubes with a little bit of juice or whatever your preference is too, depending on the flavors. So there's lots of really, really easy ways to take that produce that's maybe just a little less attractive, but still totally safe to eat and consume it and fight food waste. If you love this kind of video, be sure to check out lovefoodnotwaste.org for more tips and tricks just like this for fighting food waste and more.